The Undercountry Music News is an excerpt of the weekly internet broadcast, Undercountry Music, which features music from great country artists you won't hear on mainstream radio, as well as a roundup of the most interesting country music news of the week without all the fluff. To listen and subscribe to the full weekly episode, please visit undercountrymusic.com or simply subscribe to the Undercountry Music Podcast on iTunes. Let's get into it. Little bluegrass there for you. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Hey, I like that bluegrass. I like anything with a little uh, a little twang to it. Uh, I like country. I like Americana. I like that bluegrass. I like punkabilly, psychobilly, punk country. Uh, you know, southern rock. You know, I I just I just dig it. You know. That's what I do. As long as it's not lame and generic with tons of bad cliches, I dig it. You know, I some things I don't do on the show. I, I don't really like to do love songs because that's overdone. I, I don't really like to do tractor trucks and beer or, ooh, I'm so heartbroken. You know, that, that stuff is, uh, y- you know, I don't like to do stuff that's cliche. So there you go. There you go. But why don't you come along with me? Because now... It is time to get into a certain portion of this show that I really look forward to every single week, mainly because I have gas. And I'll explain the gas in just a moment for you new listeners here, because it is time for the... Under Country Music News is the portion of the show where I round up the week in country music news by typing the search term country music news into Google. You could do it, but I've already done it for you. And what I do so that you don't have to is that I go on to every web page that shows up under the search term country music news on the front page of Google that purports to have country music news, and I cut through the fluff. I cut through the garbage. I cut through all that award show BS. I cut through all the stupid press releases about what this star thinks about rainy days on a Tuesday or what that country star thinks about, you know, the perfect, Christmas gift for a loved one or or whatever, you know, stuff that's not really news. That's just people throwing stories out there so that they can keep their face in front of people and then lazy ass news platforms that don't want to do any work and they just take these press releases and they shove them in there as though it is news well, that's BS. So what I do is I go onto all these uh, all these websites, and I try to find the one or two essential country music news stories that actually are country music news, and I compile them all right here for you, so that you just get straight to the nitty gritty. All right, down in the city, and you know what? For those websites that don't want to do their jobs and report the real country music news, I've got a very special treat for them in the form of the undercountry music news wet belch of the week. Sometimes nobody gets it because if I find at least one newsworthy story on there, they don't get the belch. But if they got nothing, 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 do da zippity do da then I give them the belch. And it sounds a little something like this, in case I don't get to one. And I'm, I, you know what? I might have several belches to give out. I may have no belches to give out. Sometimes, you know what? There was a time I went an entire month without belching on this show. So now I make it a point to demonstrate the belch before the start of each news. That way you know what to be listening for you know, in case a place does, you know, because I don't want it to catch you by surprise. I want you to be braced so you know, you so that you know what the belch 
is going to be like. So you can strap yourself in properly, okay? Because, you know, the, the belch isn't something you want taking you by surprise. That's like, uh, you know, going to shake somebody's hand and they've got a flipper for an arm and they don't let you know and they just like, you know, you're holding out your hand and then uh, all of a sudden, you know, you're shaking a flipper. And you're like, whoa, dude, you know, yeah, you know, give a guy a heads up first because, you know, I don't want to freak out on the flipper there. Uh, not a Ron White comedy thing, okay? I mean, I got nothing against flippers. It's cool, dude. You got a flipper? It's cool. I'll shake the flipper. Just, you know, give me a, you know, give me a heads up before you break out with the flipper, okay? All right, the the belch goes something like this. <laughs> yes, I had uh for dinner tonight I had Zaxby's chicken wings and I had them with the honey mustard barbecue sauce. And right now I am sipping on the refill soda that I got on my way out the door. What did I get? Oh yes. I uh, it was one of those soda machines where you can pick like where you can combine like up to a hundred different flavors. This is the greatest invention ever. Uh, this is a little boring. It's just a Coke with vanilla in it. So I just made vanilla Coke. But my first drink of the night was a Seagram's Club Soda with uh, raspberry flavoring in it. And so, and then after that, I got the Coke with the vanilla Coke, which uh, is helping me with my belching. But what I do is I put air in my stomach, and then I lean against the edge of my desk, which really helps to push it out for you. That way I get that nice, you know, uh, moist finish there. Anyway, are you ready to get into some of this country music news that I got cooking up for you? All right, let's get into it. Over at CMT, country music television this week, it's, um, 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 the under country music news wet belch of the week they they had nothing it was all about the some stupid awards show i can't even watch awards shows anymore it's just all bs you know so anyway let's move on uh now that we've got the burp out of the way let's go on to taste of country uh, uh, uh. Uh, it's another under country music news wet belch of the week my goodness i you know, well deserved. They got nothing at Taste of Country. And we're going to show you how pathetic those two places are for having nothing because the next place we're checking in with, Country Weekly, has not one but two newsworthy stories from the world of country music. Uh, first story Brad Paisley, Tom, and Tom Forrest of Tail Light TV, and Trevor Drinkwater of Arc Entertainment. They've combined their wonder triplet powers to start a new YouTube channel. I can barely talk today, huh? To start a new YouTube channel called My Country Nation, which takes the viewer on a myriad, a myriad, I say, of adventures with all your favorite country stars and other Southern personalities outside of their public personas that you may know them by. I think they got something, uh, they got a special with Sarah Evans. They go hunting with some person and, uh, you know, coon hunting with somebody. And it, it's supposed to be awesome. Go check it out. Look for, what's it called? My Country Nation. Yes, look for My Country Nation on YouTube. Let me know how it is. I actually haven't watched it yet. I'm just I'm just here letting you know it's there so you can go for it. I'll, I'll try to get a, a view in before next week. I don't know if I'll be able to, though. And moving along over at Country Weekly, we do have some sad news. And that sad news is that Dawn Sears of the Time Jumpers has passed away at age 53 from lung cancer, which she's been battling for the past few years. She actually became a uh, a spokesperson for, you know, lung cancer awareness during that time as well. Tried to, you know, use the time she had left to really make a difference. And, well, you know, God Godspeed to you, Don Sears. Sad to lose you. All right, we're going to move along here over to GAC, Great American Country. Let's see what do they got over there. You got... Uh, uh. Oh, man, three under country music news wet belches of the week. Have I ever had three in one week? 
I think I've only had two at the most. I think I just set a belching record on this show. The most belches ever in the news section. Ladies and gentlemen, you just listened to history. Wrap your brain around that one for a little while. Okay, we're going to kick it on over to the boot.com where you can watch the new lyric video for Luke Bryan's new song, I See You. Not intensive care unit. It's actually I C S E E E. You know, you. Did I put too many E's in C? Whatever. And I had to listen to it. It's the same old crap he always puts out. Uh, and the video is about as uninteresting as the song. I would not waste my time with this, but if Luke Bryan does something for you and you like all the other stuff he puts out, you'll probably like this, and uh, I don't personally care for it, but it's over there at theboot.com, and so get on over there and check it out if that's your thing. Also over at theboot.com, in contrast to the crap that Luke Bryan has just put out, Miranda Lambert has a brand new single out called Little Red Wagon. I grabbed it. I had a listen, and I S you not. This song is going to be an absolute smash hit. It's interesting, has some awesome twists and turns in it. Uh, it's just ear candy to the max. It's great. I highly recommend that you get a listen on Miranda Lambert's new song, Little Red Wagon. And I got to tell you, I think that regardless regardless of if you're inspired to go seek it out and listen to it or not, I, I get a feeling you're going to be hearing it whether you want to or not. It's just that good. All right, over at the 615, which is a subsection of Billboard.com, which is dedicated to music happenings uh, emanating from the Nashville area. And it's called the 615, for those of you who aren't in the Nashville area. It's called the 615 because that is the area code for the Nashville area. It's my area code, too, uh, uh, down here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Anyway, over at the 615, they got a couple stories. Craig Wayne Boyd wins The Voice Series 7. He was on Blake Shelton's team, and this does mark Blake's fourth win on the show. Now, Craig Wayne Boyd gets a $100,000 grand prize. I like that. I need me some of that Craig Wayne Boyd money, baby. And he also gets a record deal. I would bet that man is partying his brains out for the next week solid. And in further news, God Help us, but Colt Ford is set to release a live DVD. They still make those things? And uh, one thing that this article reveals about Colt that I did not know is that he co-wrote Dirt Road Anthem for Jason Aldean. I never knew that, but it makes sense because that's all that whole rapping part in the song, and that's kind of what Colt Ford, Ford does. He's a country rapper. And also some more interesting stuff in the show about the ways that he's finding success in the industry without much radio airplay at all. How he, he's really carving his niche and how his label really works to promote him in unique ways. And it it's a good read over there. So whether you like Colt Ford or not, uh, it's a very interesting article if you're into music industry kind of stuff and market strategies and things like that or when ways to, you know, succeed outside the box. It's a pretty cool article, so I will give it that. Okay, we're going to tumble along to Rolling Stone Country. Eh, well, I don't know about news, but they've got a couple picture galleries over there that are pretty interesting. One from uh, the Brothers Osborne on tour. Not a single damn picture of Ozzy, which kind of pissed me off. 
And there's also a gallery of pictures from the finale of the Wild Feathers Fall Tour. Feast your eyes, my little giblets. And with that, this has been your... News. Thank you for listening to the Undercountry Music News. The Undercountry Music News is just a small excerpt of the weekly, hour long internet broadcast, Undercountry Music, where I play music and have great interviews by lesser known original country acts. Get on over to undercountrymusic.com where you can listen and subscribe. Stay under, stay country.